Hey there students. So in this video today, we're going to talk about break even point. I'm going to introduce you to break even point and then we're going to do a little formula on how to calculate break even point in units. So what is break even point? Well, the best way to look at it is that your sales will equal your costs. All right. So in your mind, you're not making any profit, right? So your sales equals your costs. So another way to look at it, you made no profit and that's it. That's the break even point. You broke even. I'm sure you've heard of that before. And from Ryan Gosling here, he has a little message for you. <laughs> so the main point really is that break even, you just make no profit. Your sales will equal your costs. So let's talk more about that here. How do we calculate break even point in units? Or another way to, to say it is how many units must I sell? to break even. That's what you want to figure out. As you see here, how many units must be sold to break even? So take your fixed costs and you divide it here by the contribution margin per unit. Make sure it's per unit. Again, break even point in units. Clearly you would use contribution margin per unit. Now later on, I'll have another video on break even point in sales revenue and you'll see the difference. But again, I'm breaking these videos up to smaller bite-sized videos because it's easier to learn this way. So in this video only, we're going over break-even point in units. As you can see in this chapter, cost, volume, profit, there's a lot of formulas, so be writing these down. And as well, I'm gonna give you a little formula sheet that you can have and you can be looking at it here and there to understand how the formulas work. So moving on here, let's do an example. Okay, let's go through a little example here. This is on a per unit level. So for every unit, it costs, or you have to sell it for $200. Now your variable costs are equal to $75 a unit. You produced 50 cell phones. And your fixed costs are 800. So what I want you to do is pause this video again. I want you to write down these numbers, okay? You're gonna use these in the next slide. We're going to calculate. All right, so break even point in units still. We're going to take our fixed costs, right? Remember, fixed cost is part of your formula. You're going to plug it in. $800 for fixed costs, and we're going to divide it here by 125. Now, how did I get that? Well, contribution margin per unit. You should know this now sales minus variable costs. So I can even go back here just to be nice. Sales was 200, variable cost was 75. Subtract and you get 125. So to revisit the formula, $800 fixed costs divided by 125. So, and I even gave it there as well. Now, what is that equal? Let's take a look. 6.4 units, you can just call it six units to round down. So here's what's going on. You have to sell six units at least to break even. If you sell any more than that, you start profiting. That's the idea. But to make sure you break even where your sales will equal your costs, it's gonna be six units to sell. So you can break even. And that's about it here. So this is a little video here on break even point in units, figuring out how many units must I sell to break even. We went through a little example here I showed you the formula and how you calculate it. So in the next video here, we'll keep going. We'll practice break even point in sales, figuring out how much must I sell in revenue to break even. So thanks for watching today. 